Hey guys, welcome back to another Vanguard Zero video. So, uh, it's been a while, I think. Yeah, it really has been a while since uh, I've done a video. Um, but also, it's been a while since Zero has done a video. So, let's just uh, get into the event now. And uh, it all, um, it's another Imaginary Tower event. So, it has been a really long time, actually, since uh, the last Imaginary Tower event. Maybe not that long, but it has been a while. So, finally, buff Sagra and uh, Mirai's cards have been added to the game, uh, continuing the Overdress collab. And with this, all six start decks uh, are in zero. So, that's great. So, um, it's like usual. We'll get into how to play the game and then, oh, sorry, how to play this event, since it works kind of different from usual events uh, a little bit. And then we'll um, play the boss fight. In case you're wondering about the story, it's just that uh, Tak Takto calls um, Aichi and his friends over to uh, the Tatsunagi's place because he developed uh, an AI uh, vir a fighter's growth virtual pro VR program, um, and he wants them to test it out. And then that's what this is. That's basically the story, it hasn't changed at all. So, um, you use IC chips in this event, you get them every uh, 10 minutes, one of your IC chips uh, comes back to you. So basically, you can either use gems to just get 50 chips back, or you can use an item that will get you 50 chips back. Besides that, you have to wait for 10 minutes for one of your IC chip items to come back. Anyways, then uh, when you win against the AI, you get tower medals and tower points. Tower points are for your rank. You'll get rewards based on your rank later. Um, tower medals are used to exchange for the cards. Um, yep, here's the rewards you can kind of get for the rank, like packs and banners and stuff. Uh, boost cards are a thing so now you uh, for this event you don't have boost skins you have boost cards boost cards are usually cards from the pre from the latest set that the uh, uh, the latest set of the month where you know the event takes place and all cards maybe not all cards but most cards that are related to that uh, the cards that came out in the new set so like if it's Gurgit support then if uh, Gurget is from a previous set, then he will also be a boost card, despite not coming out. Also, all the cards from this event will also be boost um, boost cards. Team share decks, so if you are in a team, you can share your decks. And so that means that even if you don't have the cards, if someone in your team has it and they're willing to share their deck with you, you can play with their deck. Uh, and you can get all of the uh, boost card. I mean, you can all get all the benefits of having the boost cards in your deck. So that's also really cool. Um, and of course, also, uh, since this is a team event, um, your, a, lo a lot of, um, all your team members also get benefits for your ranks. I mean, yeah. Uh, Time bonus chance when you beat the AI really fast, you have a chance to get a time bonus. That means for a little bit of time, uh, I think like 15, 11 minutes or 15 minutes, you will get a lot more points and a lot more tower medals. And you can use skip tickets to skip fights except for the boss. And you probably would want to use the skip tickets during the time bonus. By the way, you can also get the a time bonus using skip tickets so there's that um yeah you can't skip the boss and the boss's time is mire so that's about it uh let's take a look at the boost cards before we get to a fight and then we'll also get to the cards so um in this set we got new gurgit support like i mentioned as you can see here we have golden holy sword gurgit and then we have regular Gurgit as well. So even though Gurgit was from, from a previous set, you can, um, because the support here uh, is for Gurgit's deck, 
he is a blue skin here. By the way, blue skins usually are actually triple rare or buff cards, so I should have mentioned that earlier. The uh, the rank reward uh, are cards also count as blue skins. Uh, for this, uh, so today it's gold paladins and angel feathers, and then oh, dragon empire as well. So Bob Sagra's cards, Bob Sagra and her cards are always um, uh, in are always gonna be boost cards throughout the whole event so you have shadow paladins and next and then that's pretty much it i i ah, sorry and then you have aqua force as well new tava support and maelstorm uh and that's it so let's take a look at the cards real quick sorry about that if anyone wants to get to the fight we'll get there soon um so how because i want to explain how the card works before you see it you might get confused if you don't know so how it works uh so let's go over her skills persona ride so just like all the other cards if you ride uh, her if you ride buff sagra over buff sagra persona ride will happen anyways so uh when she equips an arms card soul charge one call a uh, trick moon to a regard circle from outside of your deck that does not have uh, uh sorry to an open rc uh from outside of your deck so call trick moon from out uh yeah so specifically trick moon now not like another grade zero uh and her other skill is that soul blast if she has two arms cards equipped soul blast three uh retire all of your opponent's front row rear guards and that's it so she kind of got a debuff here instead of soul blast 2 she became it's soul blast 3 now and instead of getting a crit well you don't get a crit so that sucks but uh maybe the big but um you know removing retiring rears like that is pretty good in zero since if you have two intercepts it doesn't matter now of course there's now decks that can intercept from the back row but um just a, there's just a few of those so as long as you don't run into any of those she's still pretty strong we have the other support card um our uh, our darula uh darula when placed if your vanguard is uh equipped it's a sorry it's an armed wait uh Yeah, it's an armed uh, grade 3. It's called Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1 to activate. Uh, if she, if your Vanguard is equipped with the right arms, equip the left one. If your Vanguard is equipped with the left one, equip the right one. So basically, if you don't have a certain piece, this one will get it for you. Um, and then during your turn, if, you're, if you have uh, two arms, then it gets purple sake and then the rest of the cards as well uh hari badora and namo carl and of course ahinsa so um what those basically do is you need to run um hari badora and namo carl uh in your deck because they have the skill when placed counter blast one and then equip your vanguard with an arms card uh and the grade two gives you the right arms i believe yeah uh gives you the sorry oh sorry the left arms the grade two gives you the left arm and the grade one gives you the right arms and you need to run the starter because when you ride buff sagra over the starter your vanguard will become armed which means that you will be able to put the arms cards on it so if you're not using uh this starter then your vanguard buff sagra will not be armed oh sorry will not be able to have arm cards uh, sorry that took a while but yeah that she works a little differently from the uh actual series and sorry from the actual tcg i mean 
uh, than in Zero. So I wanted to explain that. And also very different from other Zero cards. So today, uh, Gold Paladins is boost skin. So we're gonna go with gold. Okay. Let's see, we don't have three three, so that's not good. Um, um maybe I'll I'll put this back, maybe. Uh and we'll see. Uh, nope, okay. I was hoping to draw so we could have stride father, but this usually happens. I don't have to worry about it. We'll just leave that. Um mm, okay. Uh shoot. Yeah, we'll actually just ride Slammy here. And we'll just grab Gurgit now actually. We'll put that there. Uh let's see. Maybe You know what actually maybe we'll go into Golden Holy Sword. Just cause uh well the card is new, so kinda wanna sh in case anyone wants to see it rather than the Usual old Gurgit, well, um, you can see it here in this video. Yep, just like usual. Uh, it's a usual ride line. You can put back uh, the same grade card from your hand to ride the grade 1 or the grade 2. So, yeah, if you're on the grade 1, put back a grade 2 to ride the grade 2 from deck. If you're on the grade 2. Put back a grade 3 to ride buff Sagra from deck. From deck is really important. Alright, let's see. I forgot to mention, actually, but it's also a really good thing that... Um, hold on, let me do this. This isn't optimal, but we need to attack. So we're gonna do this. Oh, sorry, you're saying... Oh, yeah, Um, it's actually really nice that... Like before, they lowered the amount of points you need. But they also did change the system a little bit. So now, it's a little bit harder to get um, IC chips. Like You really have to grind and you have to do it in a specific way. Not grind, but you have to play in sort of a specific way. To be able to um, optimally get like points and stuff in the game uh for this event so it's really weird but at the same time they did lower the amount of points you need <clears throat> which does help because pretty sure previously it was like 20k points sorry medals not points medals for one uh card and that's for the triple rare i mean and that's insane she doesn't have any right lines and stuff so yeah <laughs> we got old gurgit well uh we'll ride golden horse Souls. And we can stride. I'll explain what Trick Moon does after I decide what to stride into. Let me think. Ooh, okay. Maybe we should go into Rising Shine Dragon. We could go into Scourge Point Dragon as well. That just gives us more power. She doesn't have any intercepts, so that's also good. Um, shoot, okay. This will guarantee us getting more cards, uh, but this will help us hit for higher power. Uh, we have the counter blast for it. Let's just go into uh, scourge point. Usually, this is what I go into first, it's pretty safe. Uh, yeah. CB1, uh, counter blast 1, search, look at the top 4 cards of your deck, and then call one of them. If that card has a unite ability, call another uh, unite ability, uh, call the top card of your deck as rest. So that's nice, you know, so we do have cards with the unite ability. Do I want to call Jeff or do I want to call Harry? Because Harry can help us counter charge. It'll be a bigger beat. You know what? We'll just call Jeffrey. It's okay. We can put him to soul to draw another card later. Oh, that's good. We got an intercept, so that helps. So this helps us fulfill your knight, but uh, hmm, 
calling as rest is not optimal. We won't use that yet. We'll put this here. Uh, we'll just use his skill. To, uh, it's kind of a kind of a waste, but we'll retire this so we can attack again. At the very least, uh, at the very least, this felt helps filter the deck. So I think what we're gonna do is. Um, hold on, this is 23, this is 20, right? We'll go with- oh, wait, no, I made a mistake. Oh well. We'll go like this. Oh yeah, I'll explain Trick Moon, uh, Trick Moon skill. So, uh, what Trick Moon does is that when it's in the middle, specifically the middle row in- uh, sorry, the middle column of the back row, R circle, Basically, behind Vanguard, um, when it's placed by your card's ability, counter charge 1. And then it has a D-boost, which is when it boosts. Uh, if your Vanguard has 2, sorry, not if your Vanguard, if you have uh, 2 arms, for that battle, it gets power plus 10k, which is actually pretty good. Uh, so it'll be 14k booster, and it, the D-boost does not need to be... A behind van so it can boost a rear guard for 10 for 14k you only get the counter charge if it's uh called by boss sagra into behind van yeah we're gonna activate jeffrey's skills attack here we did check a stab trigger <laughs> that's why i said i made a mistake earlier because the other, uh, if I had attacked with this without using and then not use Jeffrey's skill, this would have hit for higher numbers after restand. But yeah, this is only 36. Ooh, that really hurts. But we'll ignore that. We'll take out her here, I guess. We'll end the turn there. We will... Uh, we're, we're not going to use Slim yet. But at least we were able to rush since she didn't call intercepts earlier. And she still doesn't have intercepts now. So hopefully we can uh, win next turn. Okay. Alright. So we'll put that away. Ooh, Soul Blast too. That's right. Uh. Uh, this Kurgit's right needs Soul Blast too, and we have one Soul Blast because of Golden Holy Sword Gurgit. So keep that in mind, he needs SB1, so if you don't have anything to Soul Charge. Yeah, the only card in the Soul is Jeff. Oh well, we could... So Rising Shine needs to hit. We'll just go back, sorry, we'll do this. Yeah, we'll just go back to using uh, Scourge Point, and then we have the one Soul Blast, so we can use it. Okay, we'll call... it's a stand trigger, but we'll call this because it has Intercept, if you're on Unite. Okay. Uh, we won't activate that. Hmm... Yeah, we'll just call this from hand, I think. And leave that there. And attack with this. Okay. This grade 3 is also pretty good, because if you, uh, when placed, the turn that's placed, it gets boost. Okay, good, we won. Okay, sorry, uh, about... Uh... Sorry that the explanation took a real long time uh, before we actually got to the fight. But that was a boss fight. And uh, yeah, as you can see... Oh, it was 20 minutes. Sorry, not 11 or 12. It was actually 20 minutes for time bonus. So that's pretty good, but... Uh, the bad part is that every fight takes like 15 chips. So even if you uh, you have a full like 65, it's, it's gonna take... You're not gonna be able to um, like fill that up. It's gonna take a while, so you're gonna have to, you know, you're gonna have to use gems and chips 
in order to actually make the most out of it so sometimes you might uh well i mean when you're doing the boss fight because you can't skip you'll be using a lot of time there but besides that you'll probably have to like lose like three to five minutes of your boost boost time just because you can't fight anymore anyways uh i'll end the video here thanks a lot for watching if you want to see a video on the new cards from this event and how you play the buff sagra deck or any of the other overdress decks uh please mention it and i'll make one all right thanks a lot for watching see you guys in another video bye